So I, it's, I'm just gonna start this out by saying it's Sunday morning, it's 5.30 in the morning. I am in like a forest service parking lot with a spotlight shining right on me, so that's why I have light on my face. But I'm really excited for this morning because every year, Black Hills Balloons shoots off a bunch of balloons from the Straddle Bowl. They do it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, it's Sunday morning, we're gonna go, me and Delaney, but with a twist. Every other year, or most other years, I've gone to the top. So you can see the balloons taking off from the bottom of the bowl. It's really pretty, it's fun to watch, take pictures, whatever. But there's always a lot of people. And this year, we are actually, we got special permission to go to the bottom of the bowl and take pictures while they take off from the bottom. So obviously it won't be as crowded, no one's really allowed down there, except for the pilots and the owners of Black Hills Balloons and I'm so excited we got this really cool dress for Delaney to wear I'm gonna turn my air down because that's probably really loud this huge black dress so it's like I'll show you it more when I have light but it has just really like dramatic pleats um, it's just like a strap no no it's not strapless um, but it's like tighter fitting up top and then it has just a really flowy like bottom part don't even know what that's called like a skirt I guess so we're just so excited or I'm excited I am obviously dragging Delaney out of bed super early in the morning and I didn't really have to get ready that much she actually did because she's gonna be my little model but I can't wait our goal with this is kind of like sleek like editorial kind of looks she's gonna have her hair like slicked back um, this like beautiful satin black dress and then balloons going like off in the background and like all around her so I can't wait I've seen like videos or in pictures of huge like hot air balloon festival in like Albuquerque and and Turkey and like all these places and obviously this is not that but it's the closest thing to it and it's only about a 20 minute drive from my house so I'm really excited I'm gonna bring you guys along I brought a little tripod that I can just put my camera on and I also have been vlogging on TikTok, which has been so fun so I don't I haven't really like ever shared my TikTok because I've just posted like whatever and it's kind of nice that it's not really people I know following me on there but I've really been loving vlogging like every single day so if you're on TikTok go follow me over there I'll just put my little username down here I think it's the same as like my personal but yeah that's that's kind of the thing it's been fun to just get teeny little snippets of my day it takes me obviously way less time to edit than a full YouTube video I make like a minute long video I do a little voiceover on like what I did that day whatever and it's just easy and fun these videos obviously they're a little bit behind they're not as detailed I don't do it every day they take me quite a while to edit so yeah I'm behind like two weeks or a month almost all the time but the TikTok ones are literally posted that day or the next morning so yeah if you want to watch those go follow me but I'm excited for this I am early obviously but Delaney is on her way and we will head up there in just a couple minutes <laughs> this was harder than it looks to put these things on no socks oh <laughs>
I just got home. I am hoping that I got good footage of that. I just kind of set this up and just let it go. I think it was going for like 18 minutes, so hopefully I got some good stuff. My toes are freezing. Um, my fingers are numb. It was way colder than I thought it was gonna be. And poor Delaney um, was like barefoot, so yeah. But we, I don't know if I was able to catch it on this camera, but um, the owners and like other people there were just so insanely friendly where we were like afraid to go like too far into the bowl because we don't want to be in anybody's way and um, everybody was so nice everybody they ran that we ran into was like don't worry you're not in our way this one guy he's like no come here I want to show you something he like pulls us underneath his balloon as it's blowing up lets us take pictures under it not sure if they turned out because it was really dark and I wasn't prepared for it and then the owner of Black Hills Balloons was like, let me go ask the owner of this balloon over here if you can go on the inside. And I thought she meant like inside the basket once it's all up before people take off. And they're like, no, no, like as it's on the ground and it's already inflated, but it's not pulled up yet, you guys can go on the inside and take pictures. And at the very top of this balloon is a giant peace sign. So we got to be inside where it's rainbow and a peace sign. I will put pictures here hoping to God they turned out once again wasn't prepared enough I felt like I had about 15 seconds to get the pictures and I actually probably had more time we were walking out and they're like take your time we have we have so much time take all the time you need but I just didn't want to like take advantage of them and Delaney's feet were cold it was freezing in there because the fans are like blowing cold air in but just such a cool experience the top of the straddle bowl where most people like park and they walk down the, i don't know how many years they've been doing this the first time i went was like six years ago and there was not that many people like i think it was still busy but definitely not that many people and today there was so many people parked all along the roads in parking lots everything so the fact that we got to go like at the bottom where there was only the people who were allowed down there setting up and the people the passenger right ri passengers riding for the day was crazy like cool one of the coolest experiences ever and i just feel so lucky that we got to do that and i'm so glad that we just decided like let's go do this and just a fun idea that we took advantage of and this is how I know like I'm doing the right thing with my life because obviously like I did not get paid for this this was a shoot that like I wanted to do just brought a model along for fun I paid for this like dress for it so like I didn't make any money on this but I woke up at 4 30 on a Sunday morning to go do this and I would do this for free every single morning um obviously I would need to like pay for my lifestyle somehow but just such a cool experience and I like just I can't wait to edit them like to me that doesn't feel like work at all because I'm just so excited and it was so fun so yeah that was my morning I don't know what we're gonna do now it's like 7 45 I just went and got a coffee I did make a coffee this morning on the Nespresso but I haven't bought a coffee since we got our Nespresso machine so I just thought I would just treat myself to it this morning and I still have yet to perfectly master the latte so it's still better when I go buy it somewhere else but I'm learning and then my parents might go to my grandma's house and make breakfast that's usually what they do on Sunday morning so I might go with them I don't know what time they're gonna go um, but yeah I don't really have any plans today probably just do a quick little house pickup and edit some pictures and just relax and enjoy my Sunday so yeah I will bring you guys along if we do anything exciting if we don't I will just carry this vlog into tomorrow which is Monday already can't believe it because I have some exciting stuff going on tomorrow too so I'm about to pee my pants I'm gonna run inside and I'll catch up with you guys later yeah they're like a couple minutes away that's funny you should wear a or bring a sweatshirt it might be chilly it's like beautiful I'm driving with the air Film yourself eating. Mm -hmm. I did terrible about vlogging yesterday. What did we do? So we went to my grandma's for breakfast. I think I vlogged that a little bit. And then 
didn't really do much. I was super tired because woke up earlier than I wanted to on a Sunday. So we watched a movie, took a nap, which we're not really nap people, so, but that did feel good and then woke up and we both kind of did some yard work, cleaned up the house and just kind of relaxed for the night. The weather was perfect. It was fun to just hang outside for a little bit and we just had leftovers for dinner, so nothing crazy. Now it's 8.30. I was gonna go to a bar class this morning because I've been trying to go be better about just going to work out daily and I think it's easier for me to go in the morning. I'm just more likely to do it. So I had real intentions of going to a class at six this morning, but I woke up and just had a headache and just didn't feel great. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep for like another hour and hopefully wake up feeling better. I do still have my headache, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm not upset that I slept in a little bit. I do feel like my body kind of needed it this morning, so I'm okay with that. This morning, so far what I've done, what did I do this morning? Not a ton yet, but I did get all my posts up for all the social media accounts I'm working on, and what's really exciting about today is I am leaving right now to go take pictures for a brand new social media client that I'm really, really excited for. I actually um, kind of got rid of a couple other social media clients I've been working with. I'm not officially done with them yet, but I told them that I need to be done soon so that my time can go to this client because it's a bigger client, it's gonna take up more of my time, but it's just something I'm really excited for. So I don't know if I can take you guys in there. I'm going to take pictures at their warehouse right now. It really shouldn't take me very long. I'm trying to get there at nine, so I have about 20 minutes to get there. And I'm hoping to only be there for like hour, hour and a half. Don't think it should take me that long. And then, you know, once I'm kind of like more into it, like next week or whatever, I will have a better idea of like, you know, how long can I stay? What can I take pictures of? Today, it's kind of just me feeling it out a little bit, getting some base pictures to just start the Instagram and the Facebook because we are starting from scratch, which I have not done with a company yet. So that's gonna be a little interesting, but I'm actually kind of excited to start from scratch instead of like, correcting anything that like a past social media person has done especially as far as Facebook because Facebook can be very like weird if it's not set up correctly and I am the one setting it up it's attached to my Facebook so I'll have access to do everything I can change anything I just have full full control without having to like reach out to someone who's done it in the past which is really nice and yeah i can just kind of do my own vision i can just fully work with them but have a lot of creative freedom so i'm really excited for it and that's what i'm gonna do this morning and then i have a lot of work mostly like computer work to do when i get home of you know mainly working with them like editing all the pictures and videos that i take this morning getting their social medias fully up and running getting those first posts out which is a little nerve-wracking i don't know why and then i have a youtube video i want to edit because i have been better about posting twice a week and i just want to really stick to that what else do i have oh i do i am meeting with a couple girls tonight we call it book club but honestly we've only read one book and now we just we just call it book club but we just meet up and get drinks and i'm doing that at about 4 15 so i'm just very excited for this day it's like 60 degrees outside i think it's gonna warm up a little bit maybe i can go for a long walk later today but just a good day to get stuff done and i'm just feeling very excited and like just very ready for fall and just new starts new businesses to work with and yeah it's gonna be good so let's head to that business right now and I will probably just touch back with you guys later if I get any like little video on my phone because I probably will get video for their socials I will share some of that um, but yeah probably not gonna bring this camera in so yeah see you soon the last couple hours editing YouTube video which I'm nowhere near done because I went outside and I let Frazier and Conrad come out with me 
And Conrad, well, Frazier's, okay, sorry, so Frazier. Frazier is so good when he's outside. He um, will just like lay on like the pavement on our patio and just like sleep while I work. And I've been letting Conrad out with him, um, which is our cat, if you don't know. And normally he just stays in our yard and he'll like wander around, he'll like go behind the shed and stuff, like whatever. Like he can't get in too much trouble, he doesn't leave. And it had been like an hour and I was like, that's weird, I haven't seen him. I like called for him and I like went and got food and shook it for him, could not find him. Looked for him for probably half hour and then was like, whatever. He knows his way home, he'll come back. It's like early in the day, it's not stormy, like he's gonna be fine. And then I looked to the left and I saw him on the other side of our neighbor's fence. So, um, just kind of annoying. I was like, yeah, you lost your outside privileges for the day, unless I can literally be watching your every move. So that was a nice, not so nice little break. I think I'm gonna put on something cooler because I'm feeling really hot. I don't even know why I'm winded right now. Sorry. I'm wearing long sleeves right now and it's it's pretty toasty outside. So I just turned the air back on. I think I'm gonna work inside for a little bit and just put on like a tank top and some shorts so I'm more comfortable. But I was thinking, um, I was thinking that I wanna make a coffee and I made one this morning. I made just like a hot latte, which I like to start my mornings out with something hot. But I really want to try and make a brown sugar shaken espresso and I don't think it's going to be that hard and I haven't tried it with my new Nespresso yet. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Also, I am like almost completely caught up in editing videos, which is nice because then my turnaround time will be better as far as like... You know i vlog this weekend i can post it this week instead of like waiting a full month because i've had people not that many people vlog or watch my vlogs but people who do watch my vlogs will be like oh you just like went on a trip I'm like oh uh, no like a full month ago i went on a trip but everything is just like so far behind so that will be nice the only thing is in order to keep up with posting twice a day that means that I have to be filming more and I've been able to kind of take a break from filming because I've had so much like backup and so I've filmed like little stuff throughout the week but like what it wouldn't normally be enough for like a full vlog so I'm gonna have to start working on that why the heck am I out of breath right now I shouldn't I should not be that out of shape I didn't I literally didn't even do anything but I'm gonna change clothes and then let's go make a yummy coffee everything I need for the brown sugar shaken espresso but a brown sugar is hard as a rock so I don't know how well that's gonna go you only need two teaspoons so I think I can find enough I don't know it's okay we're gonna we're gonna try it we're gonna try it I don't know why it's having such a hard time focusing but first things first I need a nice big actually okay i'm gonna put this stuff in a little protein shake container just so that i have a nice lid that i can close and then i've been kind of saving any starbucks iced cups we have um just to make it feel a little bit more like i'm having a real starbucks so i did find a recipe on my phone okay I did manage to get enough brown sugar. Maybe a tad clumpy, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put a dash of cinnamon in first. And by a dash, I honestly don't know how much. But I like a lot of cinnamon, so we're gonna do a decent amount. I'm just gonna use, I don't have the exact kind of Starbucks that they, need for that but this is a starbucks one i just think it's a different it's not like the light roast it's i think it's just like medium um but i think that will work so we're gonna brew this I 
think it's like so, so watered down. I definitely think I did it wrong. <laughs> That's really sad. In case I didn't put in that entire disaster of making this coffee, it maybe looks semi okay and legit. It's not. Um, it's incredibly watered down and doesn't have great flavor at all. So, so that's fun. Maybe I'll just stick with my regular lattes. It's the same day. I've just changed clothes three times today because I was too hot and then I was too cold and my hair is gross, so a hat it is. I am about to leave the house, not quite yet, I guess in like, probably like an hour. No, not even. 45 minutes, I need to leave the house. I am getting drinks with a couple friends. I think I mentioned that earlier, but I've just been trying to get so much done today. I I actually made my to-do list for my day today, yesterday, and I was writing it out. I just wanted to like end my weekend on a good note, feeling like I know exactly what I need to do Monday, just making sure that I could like end my weekend on a on a relaxing note and not feel like, I have so much to do this upcoming week and I made my to-do list and I was really thinking like okay I have a full day but I can easily fit all this into one day like I'm just gonna I'm gonna accomplish so much and I'm gonna be like chugging along the whole day but it's totally doable and now I'm realizing not that doable and um, it's always because things end up taking longer than I think they're going to and I'm getting stuff done but I have 45 minutes to make an email blast for a social media client and then I'm going to meet with these girls and if I don't get it done the next 45 minutes it is okay I can do it when I get home it doesn't go out until tomorrow morning but I teach bar tomorrow morning at 5 30 so it's a night where I like to go to bed relatively early and I still have to make my bar routine. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to go meet with these girls, but I also just feel like I just have a lot to do. And it's 3.20, I still have so much left of the day, I have no reason to like freak out. I just, I've had a headache all day, I've gotten stuff done, but I've had stuff come up that just have made me less efficient, like losing the cat for like 30 minutes and having to search for him and, and whatever. But that's why I have not been great about vlogging today because I'm just trying to get as much stuff done as I can. And it's kind of tricky because I'm really trying to figure out like what is a sweet spot for like how many social media clients I want and you know how many photography clients can I get, do I want. And I know that like it's fall right now, it's beautiful outside. This is like a very busy time for all of that together. And I don't want to be into January and have zero work. So I don't want to push anything off right now that I don't have to. But at the same time, I want to make sure I'm able to, you know, get everything back to clients like in a timely manner and just feel like I can like really give my focus to the clients that I have and not feel like I'm like overwhelmed or overworked. So that's just... It's gonna take some getting used to. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I only have three weeks left at the salon and then I'm officially done there. And I am sad that I'm gonna be done there, but at the same time, those were two days out of every single week where I had to be in an office. And it did take away from you know the opportunity to work with other social media clients or get photos done for photography clients. So I am pretty excited to officially like be at a spot where I do not have to clock in anywhere. I just kind of have to get through this month. I have a lot of overlap with clients right now um, until you know I'm kind of done with them, but already starting working with this new client. So it's just kind of a transitional period that's exciting, but kind of have a lot to do. So I'm going to spend the next half hour, 45 minutes knocking this email blast out i'm hoping it doesn't take too long and i will touch base with you guys in a little bit
I think I was just saying this morning how I've been so good about getting YouTube videos out. Maybe I said that literally like an hour ago. Um, and having to go out a week. And hopefully I will still get two out this week. But normally I would have one go at 5 p.m. on Monday. That's kind of the schedule I've been sticking to the last few weeks. And that is not going to happen. I did not get that done. When I do YouTube videos, as much as I love doing it, it's not my job, it's my hobby. And although it would be amazing to have a job with YouTube, my job is to do social media and photography for other people, which means their stuff has to come first, obviously. And today was just one of those days where I had to put that work um, in front of my own, which is totally understandable. I will maybe have time tomorrow morning before I have to go to work at the salon to finish that vlog out, hopefully get it up by tomorrow. But we also have like a friend's spaghetti night tomorrow night. So our evenings are just kind of, kind of packed lately, which is exciting, but honestly really hard to get enough done or have enough like real downtime. But right now I'm not gonna worry about any of that. I am just gonna go enjoy a drink and a pizza with a couple of my good friends and yeah, that's, that's kinda it. I don't know how long this vlog is because I really have barely been vlogging. This might be a short vlog. I think I am gonna make this the end of the vlog. That way I can just start fresh either tomorrow or this weekend with a brand new vlog so if i don't talk to you before then thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time